We got the juice like K juice kilo boost like Taste good, put you in the like Got the shit, whoa Mike gotta slow my rules Gotta save some for the road Gotta save some for the bros Put a little drink in your cup Or you could drink how it is Ay, It could get you real lit Ay, Or it could be for the kids Ay, It's hot life, not life Who's hype, we got the juice like K juice, give you a little boost like Taste good, put you in the mood like Whoa, whoa Might gotta sew my robe Gotta save one for the road Gotta save some for the bros Whoa, whoa Might gotta sew my robe Gotta save one for the road Gotta save some for the bros Hello Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Um, welcome. Thanks. Well, my name is Corey. Corey A. Um, you can follow me on Facebook, Corey. I'm a makeup artist here in Philly. I'm also in Bloomsburg. If you're a Bloomsburg student, hit me up. And follow my social page. Uh, call me Corey. Are you in college? Yes. I'm a college student last okay. year. Oh, okay. Congratulations. Um, Thanks. how was your four years at Bloomsburg? Um... If you had to sum it up in one word. I don't know. <laughs> All right. I think, um, now, what got you started doing makeup? So, I actually started doing makeup, like, kind of like by accident. It was just me doing my own. Um, but my eyebrows used to be trash. And one day, my friend Shamara was like, like, watch this video. You got to get your eyebrows together. They're not cute. And I'm like, okay, cool. So then once I started working on my eyebrows, like, I don't know, like, I enjoyed learning and getting better. And after that, like, my eyebrows was always, like, it was freaky. So I'm like, hmm, this is fun. So then I started doing my whole face. Then I did the girl who lived next to us at the time face. And I liked the feeling that it gave me of making her look nice, like, making her feel better about herself. So I'm like, hmm, I like this. And then I just kept doing it. And at first, it was just going to be like a side thing. Like, that's not what I want to actually do. This is just something I'm working on. But then, I don't know, I just fell in love with it. I fell in love with the feeling that I got when I did it. So How how um can it be hard to bypass the stereotypes of everybody trying to be a makeup artist right now? Especially in 2018, YouTube taking off, all this stuff. Like, how do you think it's hard? It definitely makes you doubt wanting to do it, knowing that there's so many other people doing it, and then there's people that are, like, better than me right now. So, it's it can definitely get discouraging, but at the same time, it's like, I know that this is what I like to do. I know that this is what I want to do. And then the, and one thing that I like to do is look back when I first started doing makeup, and when I see, like, the difference, like, how much I improved, like, even though there's other people out there that's popping, like, I'm getting there. Like, I see it. I can witness it, so I don't know. It, it is hard to, you know, realize that what you want to do is a lot of people doing it, but that don't mean you, you can't do it. It's a million faces in the world, so, you know, it got to be a bunch of makeup artists. My main goal is just to make women feel better about themselves and not even, like, trying to give them a new face or the whole transformation thing. I don't like the whole transformation makeup. I feel like makeup should be more about enhancing what you already have. Every girl, every woman is already beautiful. You just got to enhance, you know, what you got a little bit. Sometimes you want longer lashes, fuller brows, and that's okay. Like, What sets you apart from area of the makeup artist? I think it's my personality. Um, I really try to get to know my clients. Um... And just like laugh with them, vibe with them, you know. And then my like customer service. I feel like it's a lot of people that just do the makeup, but they don't like provide that good quality customer service. And that's what I want to do too. Like people paying for that. It's supposed to be a service. It's supposed to be relaxing, you know. Like it's all about the experience, not just getting your face done. So K juice is definitely popping. It's definitely popping. My mom had two bottles, and I definitely drunk one of hers just because it's that good. Like, it's refreshing. It's, like, the perfect amount of sweetness. Like, I don't know. The flavor is just different. Like, there's no juice out there that 
taste like this, at least not a juice that I've had, that tastes like this. Like, I feel like, I don't know, I would drink this juice definitely with every meal, like, every cookout. I feel like this, this juice definitely fits a lot of different scenarios, like... The flavor is popping, especially when it's cold. I feel like one day I want to put it in the freezer and let it get slightly slushy, but definitely good. Um, yeah, so like I do see that you know you are on the bit of the creative side, and I do like that about uh, your page. It does stand out from other makeup artists. I mean, even though I, you know people do have creative faces, but I like how you do both. Yeah, I definitely think it's a lot more fun when I don't have to do the basic, like. And I don't want to say basic. I'm not even going to say basic. But, I don't know, doing stuff outside the box, stuff that's not normal. Like, you know, using things, gluing them on your face. Using glitters in different parts uh, except for just your eyes. Like, I don't know, it's more fun. Yes, I post new looks each and every Friday. Okay. Um, Usually around like 8 o'clock. I try to keep it consistent as far as posting at night. So, you know, I know everybody home from work. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, every Friday. Sometimes they're just full glam looks. Sometimes they're a little bit more creative. Like outside the box. Something you wouldn't wear outside. Um, But I feel like it just helps me be consistent. Because I had a problem with consistency. But now that I know that I need to post a look every Friday. Like no matter what, I'm going to get a, at least one look done every week like no matter what and then it also like i don't know it gives me a chance to like show my creativity and just have fun with it and post those looks that i come up with and see how people like them okay but yeah i'm definitely gonna be working harder and getting more looks um if you are a bloomsburg student i definitely want to get my makeup committee up and running this year it's my last year at bloom so i really want to like leave a mark when i graduate and that's definitely something that's going to be a top priority for me I'll be doing New York Fashion Week, so I want to do a lot more Fashion Week, stuff like that, get myself out there. All right. Thank you so much, Corey, for coming through to KJU's TV um, to sit by and talk with us about your career. No problem, no problem, anytime. Thank you so much for having me, KJU's TV. Um, you guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, my beauty page, faceby.corey, and then my social page, underscore, call me Corey. I will follow you guys back. So, yeah. Gotta save some for the road. Gotta save some for the bros. Put a little drink in your cup, or you could drink how it is. Hey, it could get you real lit. Hey, or it could be for the kids. Hey, it's hot life, not life. Who's hype? We got the juice like K juice, give you a little boost like Taste good, put you in the mood like Whoa, whoa Might gotta sew my robe Gotta save one for the road Gotta save some for the rose Whoa, whoa Might gotta sew my robe